Hey guys, this is a paracord bracelet instruction video for the Piranha paracord bracelet. And this is a really cool sleek bracelet. And it's uh, about an intermediate to medium to do, but really it's not that hard once you figure the weave out. So, to get started, I'm going to get some pliers. These are optional, but I really like to have them. Lighter, scissors, and your buckle, male and female ones. So, uh, Take your lighter, and the, the paracord you'll need is 7 feet of each, approximately. And, uh, so, just, um, take your lighter and melt, melt the ends. Okay, and then stick them together. I just make sure that they stay together, so hold them together like this. I don't like squeeze them a little bit. Make sure not to burn yourself, because when you burn yourself, and like, I mean actually burn yourself, it hurts. Okay. Alright, so let's try. Take your lighter again. And this is, this is if you are going to use your pliers, but... And just melt it a little bit. So it'll mold a little bit more. Take your pliers and squeeze them flat. Right at that point. And this just makes it so it gets into the buckle easier. Well, I mean, like, way easier. Alright, now that we got that done. Take your other ends. And melt them. your pliers and squeeze them so they're flat too and that this will help them get the buckle easier. Okay, so you got that. Take your scissors and just kind of trim them. Trim them so they're kind of a little bit pointy. Because you don't want them being big. Okay. Now we got that. Take your male end of the buckle, and all right. So you see how it has a little bit of a curve there. We're gonna stick these up through the bottom side. I mean, whatever end side you're gonna use as a bottom, stick them up through the bottom. So I take the first one and I just stick it up in through there. And the second one, and stick it up in through there, and pull it. Pull it until you have a loop on the back side. And then again, if these are if it, it gets mis mixed up, you can just switch the sides really easy. Either that or just like kind of twist this. So you have that loop on the bot back s bottom side. Reach. The Reach through it and just take the strands and pull them through. So you see, it's like this. And uh, what I am going to do is just pull on one side and see it'll have this. And you just pull it and then you pull the other side. And it looks nice instead of so instead of having a big piece where they both came together, you'll have it really nice. And customers like this if you're gonna sell these. If you're not, then it, it looks really nice on your wrist. So you have that. Put that into your female end. And there's the female buckle. Here it is. Take your female buckle and put that on this part of the jig. And I'll take your paracord. And remember what I showed you about melting those ends and making them flat? Well, here's the part where they come in. Handy. Stick them in through. Because if they're big and bulky, they won't go through. So. Pull that tight. Take your other one. Put it 
bedroom. So now, uh, whatever color you want to be on the outside, I usually choose the darker one because that looks nice. You're going to use it first, so I'll choose the blue. You take it and you put it in through the middle. And it's key to have these tight. Right, so put it in through the middle. And now you see your other side? Reach under, pull it through so it's under that and make it come up and go right back through above the other one, right through the middle. Now pull it, and before you pull it tight, make sure that your these parts are really going to be really tight because that's one of the key things to having a really nice bracelet, is making sure everything is tight. If it's loose, it looks unprofessional. <coughs> pull these, and you have the first part started take it and you're just going to do the same thing throughout the whole week. Take the side you, or take the color you use, pull it through the middle, take the other one, pull under, come up over and back through the middle. And so it looks, it's starting to look nice. Take it again, Pull it through, this one goes under, over, and through. And pull it. Another key thing on this is to make sure you get a pull at a 45 degree angle. It looks, it gives it the kind of the teeth effect. So, take your dark color, go through, make maybe that lighter color go under, over, and through. Okay, so you can see it's starting to take its shape. And I'm going to pause this video and get back to you one night. Hey guys. Alright, so it's me back. Um, I don't think I can get a couple more in here. Alright, just remember what to do. Put it in through the middle. And put this over. And back through. Now, you probably um you probably only need like 12 feet of this, but I always like to go extra because it, it, you, there's nothing worse than just ending up with not enough. So I got like I think I can do a couple more here. Just try and get this through here. Now, if you can't get it through here, I understand that. Melt it a little bit more. Just squeeze it off into a point. So it's like a point. Now it'll go right through there. Now I'll let it dry. Put it right through there. Just make it so you can get it through there. Okay. Not bad. And for finishing them off, I usually like to just end. So it's like... Here, you'll see what I mean in the end. So I'm just going to shove this last blue one through here. You know, I'm not going to do any more after that. Like I said, just make it a point if you have to.
all it's through. So now you can unsnap your buckles. And see, that, look, that looks really nice. You have to say that it does look nice on both sides. So now your things will both be under here. Take your scissors. Cut them off really close. Take your lighter. Help them down. And just like kind of roll it and make it flat and smooth. And there is your finished paracord bracelet. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my friend's channel, Mason Emmerich. Have a good day.